Hello everyone, it's me, Jen, ya girl, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make ramen from the comfort of your home. It is quick, it is easy, it's affordable, and it's pretty delicious if I do say so myself. For this ramen, you're going to need two packets of top ramen or ramen of your choice, one egg, some baby bok choy, one head, seaweed, <laughs> wee bin new, sesame oil, and some good old soy sauce. So start off by taking your pot and filling it up about halfway with water. I do realize I filled it up more than halfway, but don't, don't do that. That was my bad. Anyway, set it on your stove and set the heat to high. Then take your egg and place it in the pot of water and cover it up. Let the egg sit in the pot of water for 20 minutes. While you're waiting for your egg to boil, go ahead and start cutting up the baby bok choy. You could really put as much as you want, but just, you know, cut it up with the tools that God gave you, your hands. Once the 20 minutes are up, go ahead and remove the egg from the boiling pot and you can use the same water to start adding your ramen. Once your noodles are near to being done, go ahead and add in your baby bok choy and let it sit for about two minutes. Once the two minutes are up, go ahead and add your sesame oil. Sesame oil is very, very concentrated, so do not put too much. I usually just put a little dash and that's enough. With the soy sauce, you could really add as much as you want. Um, I put just a fair amount. And if you want, this is optional, but you could also add in the flavoring packet that comes with the top ramen if you don't care about your cholesterol. Once you've done that, go ahead and start pouring your ramen into a bowl. While you're waiting for your ramen to cool down, go ahead and start peeling your hard boiled egg. And then taking a knife, cut that baby in half. Oh yes, there we go. Now place it on top of your ramen for those aesthetically pleasing visuals. Now take your seaweed and start cutting it up. I know there are pre-packaged like seaweed that's already cut, so if that makes your life easier, go for it. Um, but if you don't, then start cutting that seaweed up. And for even more aesthetically pleasing visuals, go ahead and start placing it into the ramen accordingly. And just like that, your ramen is finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe for more weekly videos. I'm going to start posting twice a week now, every Wednesday and Sunday. So make sure to click the notification bell to know when I post new videos. Follow me on all my social media down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.